super power bloke. Five ways to save the planet. So, super power bloke, you think you can save the planet? That's the spirit. Know about climate change, do you? When we burn fossil fuels, such as oil, coal and gas, we create energy for our day-to-day -day needs. But we also create CO2. We call these carbon emissions. The extra CO2 in the Earth's atmosphere traps the heat from the sun, which causes temperatures to rise. This global warming is causing all sorts of problems. Melting ice caps, changing weather systems, desertification, to name a few. And each problem leads to another. If the ice caps melt, the sea levels rise. The rivers break their banks, and then those wellies of yours won't be much use at all. Doesn't look too good, does it? In the UK, the average person has a carbon footprint of nearly 11,000 kilos of CO2 per year. That will not do. If everyone cut down their carbon footprint, then we could lessen the effects of climate change. And here's the good news. The cost to you is zero. Want to help by cutting down your carbon footprint, old chap? Good man. There are five simple things that you can do right now that will make a real difference. <clears throat> Number one. I love a pretty Maui girl. She Warm enough, are you? Turn your thermostat down by one or two degrees centigrade. And buy yourself some warmer clothes with the money you save on your heating bills. And lovely Number two. Don't leave appliances on standby and remember not to leave them on charge unnecessarily. Switch them off at the socket. Number three. Excuse me, aren't you forgetting something? Always turn off the lights when you leave a room. And do you really need quite so many? Number four. Uh, when you do any laundry or dishwashing, make sure you do a full load. Number five. Making a cuppa? Stop! How many cups of tea are you making? What? There's enough for ten cups in there. Only boil the amount of water that you actually need. Very good, old boy. Remember, five ways to save the planet. A small change from you can really make a difference.